Peggy 18. clearly staking their claim as the preeminent military authority in the region. Now, the men pointing the guns and artillery at the Marines have uniforms. They are organized and centralized. They come from the strongest sovereign power in the hemisphere, China. The Chinese homeland is close and their numbers are staggering. The People's Liberation Army wields undeniable might in Tajikistan. Operating in such close proximity began as a necessity of the mission based on pure geography. It was supposed to be nothing more than a footnote, something of which to be keenly aware. It has since become the headline, at least for the men on the ground. If the hope of the U.S. was to let diplomacy and prudence set the agenda and keep the peace with China, that hope has been shattered. The Marines have gone from being a security force for Tajikistan to what the Chinese view as a lingering pest. The PLA seeks to swat the American military away as if they were flies hovering around China's dinner plate. While it's not what America's troops expected, this is the situation. Regardless, they are still Marines. They must reassess. They had better adapt, or they will not survive. One of the worst dilemmas in any battle is to be confronted by a foe equal in technology, yet vastly superior in numbers. This is not the war they wanted, but this is the war they must fight. <laughs> 